Hi everyone. So as promised, I'm going to do another 10 vintage Cindy dolls that I've got. I did um, 10 the other day on a video and a few people asked me to do another 10. I was going to do another 10 anyway. So I've just chosen the dolls out of my cabinets and my vintage Cindy houses. And what I've included this time is the ballerinas. Now, when I was young, they bought out a ballerina, my originally, my original Cindy doll, my fun time Cindy doll was from 1973. So I would have been seven. In 1973 as well, they did bring out a ballet doll. Now this one is a later one. Yeah, this one's a later one but she still is a vintage ballet doll. So I got her from eBay. Her hair was a bit of a mess. I think I've probably washed it and straightened it to try and make it look better. Now, normally a ballet doll would have the hair up in a bun, but this girl's bun was long gone and I'm not the best. I think I have had it tied up before but anyway, it's, it's down for now. So she's out my display cabinet. So she has the original, the outfit she's got on is from the early 1970s, I think. This was one of the outfits that they came in. This tutu you got in pink or lilac and white, I think, as well. So she's got the original outfit on which I don't think she had when I got her. So the good thing about this girl is, let me just move these dolls out of the way. I haven't got room to move here. I've got dolls piled up high. So what was I saying? Yeah, so I got her off eBay and the reason, I mean, I've had her years. The reason I got her was because her ankles work. So vintage Cindy ballet dolls have bendy ankles but in the majority of the vintage cindies they're broken so as you can see her ankles work perfectly and her knees click twice oh yeah well that one's a bit yeah they do click twice that this one clicks twice this one doesn't want to hold up oh it has held there a bit temperamental maybe that one I probably didn't push it back far enough yeah so her knees kick twice so the ballet dolls also have movable hands, which other Cindy's don't have. These are often broken off the hands. So her hands work perfectly. And her hands, as you can see, are very clean. There's no chewed fingers. Her hair's nice. Her hair is thinning a bit. And she has got some missing plugs there, as you can see. So, the other articulation they've got is their shoulders go all the way round. Have I got one with their shoulder out more that I can show you? I want to show you what their shoulders are like. Oh, I've dropped a, dropped a shoe. I need to tidy my desk. So I've got some more room. I'm sure you're all used to my videos now. So I've got another ballet girl here. And it's easier for me. She's also in an original outfit, but it's easier for me to show you her shoulders. So their shoulders are, let me just take her arm out. Her, their shoulders are articulated more than a normal Cindy doll would be. So can you see? So they can go all the way round and then their elbows bend as well, which you wouldn't get on a normal Cindy doll. So they're really well articulated and they're articulated underneath so that you can't see it, which is really nice actually, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, her shoulders work and so do that girl. So do this, this girl's. So the original tights they came in were actually these. I'm gonna show you this girl in a minute. These tights, but the tutu is the original. So these tights I think came a bit later on these thick tights thicker tights so these are the original ballet shoes they're really hard to do up at the back but i've managed to do it and then she's got a 
original leotard on and over top of the leotard she's also got an original ballet it's like a cardigan isn't it so she's got you know she's got a really good outfit she's got a full outfit she's not missing anything yeah she's she's lovely isn't she so yeah I need to endeavour to get her hair up into a bun really don't I but she's lovely and as I say it is unusual to get the ankles to bend so that's my first ballerina so I might as well continue to show you this girl who I would have got off eBay as well now her hair is done in a French plait it was done like that when she came and I've never taken it out because I quite like it yeah she's got long hair and it's done in a french flat plait a normal ballet doll would have their hair in a bun though so these two i think are probably from they're very similar they're from the same year i think i think they're probably late 1970s so her elbows are fine and her her wrists are fine and her hands have got no chews or anything so let's see what her knees are like so her knees Hang on, one, two, right, one, two, hang on, one, two. Yeah, they both go on two, yeah. Weirdly enough, their knees go the other way as well. That's weird, isn't it? Look, knees go that way. It's weird. So her ankles, I'm pretty sure, are both broken. Yeah, so her ankles are both broken, so I can't, I can't, yeah, I can't do anything with them. But that is very common on a ballerina cindy doll so her hair is really good and thick and long as you can see she's got the original plastic headband on yeah she's lovely i don't think i think she came with her hair like that it doesn't look that very well done and i'm wondering if i did it so i'm not that good at french plaits do you know i got these dolls so many years ago i mean you're talking what 20 years ago Maybe not 20 years ago. I started collecting when I was 40, so I'm 58. So yeah, yeah, not quite 20 years ago, but almost. So yeah, so their, their, their waist as well goes all the way round as well. Yeah, so she's got an original, she's got the same original leotard on that the other girl had. I can show it to you. Goes down over her tights. I mean, they're very clean, these clothes as well. I think I probably have washed them. And she's got the same tutu on, an original tutu. And she's got the same ballet shoes on. As I say, they're really hard to do up at the back. They look slightly different kind of pink, her ballet shoes, don't they? But yeah, she's also a lovely doll. But as I say, her ankles are broken, but her hair is gorgeous. She's obviously got very long hair. It's really nice, yeah. So that's my ballerina number two. So my ballerina number three is one of the new face Cindy dolls. So in the 1980s, the later 1980s, sort of like 1988, that time, that era, they brought out the new face Cindy dolls. Now, I didn't have any of these for a long time. And then I become interested in them and I ended up getting a bundle of them. And I do like them. I mean, obviously I do prefer the original Cindy face. I think any Cindy collector will do, but I don't dislike the new face. I mean, I wouldn't have known about the new face till I started collecting, because obviously by 1988, well, I'd had my first child by then. I was, what, 22? So I knew nothing about Cindy's, but yeah. So she come in a bundle, so her hair's in good condition. And the difference is they no longer have rooted eyelashes. They do have pretty faces. I don't think they should have changed the face, but I think they were trying to copy Barbie a little bit, maybe. I mean, they're sort of, they're still a, they still got a decent figure. They're not really skinny like the, she's really loose. You can see her falling down. Her waist is so loose that she literally just falls down. So she is another ballerina doll, a much later one but another ballerina doll, about 10 years later than those two dolls. So she, yeah, I got her in a bundle. Her hair's lovely and soft. Obviously I've washed her. 
Now the outfit I've put on her is the outfit with the kids creations dolls that they sold in August. They did a play line. They did a play line series of dolls and one of them is a ballerina and the outfit the ballerina comes in is this outfit. So I've put this outfit on this vintage Cindy doll. It's a nice outfit though, isn't it? But that's why it looks new. The leotard is sparkly. Going to be also used as a swimming costume, that leotard. And obviously she's got the leg warmers. So her ankles are broken as well. Her ankles are both broken. Let's see what her knees are doing. Her knees holding on one. Her knees holding on two. So it holds two, that one. Just check this. Yeah, and only one on that one. It's flicking back. But they've got the same articulation as the original face girls. You've got the hands, the wrist moves, and you've got the same articulation in the shoulders. Yeah, but her ankles are broken, even though she's a much younger doll than that one. That just shows you how rare that is, the fact that her ankles are working. So yeah, there's ballerina number three. So I've got another ballerina I'm quite excited about showing you. So this is another new face girl from the late 1980s, you can tell. I mean, the face did, did change. So this face come out before that face. So this was the first new face of Cindy. So I think this would have been sort of mid 1980s. I mean, I don't know these years for definite, You'd have to do some research to find out for definite. But I wouldn't have known about this doll when I was young either because I would have been too old. I would have been a teenager and I wasn't playing with dolls any longer. But I got her brand new unopened in box. Yeah, so she's lovely. So as you can see, her outfit is brand new. She's got a lovely stripy leotard on and then she's got the little ballerina cardigan on there yeah I mean look at her face she's perfect so this was the first Cindy new face they bought out before they bought out that one so they did they did try and change Cindy I mean eventually they made Cindy look exactly like Barbie basically and then that was when it all went and we didn't have Cindy anymore until obviously recently when we've had the collector's club dolls you know in more recent years and then obviously we did the we had the play line i mean it was so fantastic when they did the play line in argos because they've got the original cindy face but i do love this doll and as i say she was new in box i have kept her box but i took her out of the box i don't keep dolls in boxes so she's got the same articulation her wrists her wrists are really nice and tight and obviously her ankle still bends because she was new in box so I think because I never had a ballerina because the ballerina the ballerina Cindy dolls when I was young were the most expensive ones because obviously they've got the articulation haven't they so I was never going to get one of them so to have one new in box even though it hasn't got the original Cindy face meant a lot to me so I really like her so her hair is still in its original style yeah, as I say, she was new in box. It was amazing to get her. And I don't even think I paid that much for her. I did get her more recently. I got her in more recent years. I haven't had her for as long as those other girls. I probably got her about four years ago, something like that. So I've not had her as long as the other girls. But yeah. And they still wore, even though they changed Cindy's face, they still wore exactly the same ballet shoes. They used exactly the same ballet shoes. I do like her and um, obviously she hasn't got rooted eyelashes so all her articulation works which is brilliant yeah I mean her joints are so tight because she was brand new in box yeah she's lovely I'm very very pleased to have her in my collection yeah love her so that's ballerina number four so let me show you this is I was talking to you about the Cindy play line wasn't I that Argus bought out so this is the ballerina that they bought out so she's got the same outfit on as this girl because this is the outfit that they come in it's a nice outfit and obviously you can see how they're copying the original outfit can't you 
So their articulation is also good, but the articulation is visible from the outside. You can see, you can see the articulation, but it, it does, let me show you, but it, it, it does make you, it does make the doll more hard wearing. It's less likely to break, but the articulation isn't hidden. You can see it, but it does make them a lot more hard wearing. But these girls are more lifelike, really, weren't they? But this, you know, I, I can understand why they've done that. So, yeah, this was the play. So I bought all the Playline dolls, obviously. I was always going to because, um, as all Cindy collectors did, and they were reasonable, unlike the Cindy Collectors Club dolls that were about 80, 90 pounds each. These dolls were reasonable. They were sort of about, I don't know, they varied from about 12 to 15 pounds something like that none of them were very expensive but unfortunately they obviously didn't do well enough because they stopped they, they did two series and they obviously do well do well enough because they stopped doing them which was a shame but yeah so she's got her original bun in i mean she's a lovely doll she's lovely and her ankles obviously move as well and they've copied, they've tried to copy the original Cindy ballet shoes. They've done very well, haven't they? I mean, I, I love it. I love her and the leg warmers. Yeah, she's nice, isn't she? So yeah, she's a more recent ballet doll. Love her. Very pretty, very pale skin. Her hair is in its original style, its original bun. Need to look at that bun and see if I can do that on my vintage Cindy. The thing is, these dolls have got so much, they're so much better rooted than the vintage Cindy dolls. And they've got much longer hair as well. Their hair is much better. Vintage Cindy dolls are renowned for having quite thin hair. Yeah. But then they are quite old dolls, aren't they really? So that is ballerina number five. So... I've got five dolls left to show you. So there's my five ballerinas. So this doll came in the same bundle as this girl when I decided to get the newer face, the face of the late 1980s. They come together with a couple of other dolls as well, actually. So she's wearing a Playline, she's pinched a Playline dolls outfit. She's pinched this outfit, which is another I think it's another, I don't know what outfit that is actually. One of the Playline dolls was wearing that. I don't know whether, it, I don't think it was another ballerina. It might just be some sort of party dress. But I just thought it looked really nice on this girl. So she is the doll with the crinkly hair. Yeah, love her. I mean, they have got pretty faces. Yeah, so I didn't have any with this face and then I just, yeah, I looked at, I found a bundle. I mean, it was so cheap because these younger dolls are much cheaper. So I found a bundle of them and I washed their hair and sorted them out and everything. And she has got holes for earrings there, pierced ears. But yeah, so she's borrowed one of the Playline dolls dresses. It looks really nice and I've made her into an ice skater. So these ice skates, they must be Cindy because they fit Cindy. But what doll they're from, I'm not sure. But they do fit Cindy, so they are Cindy ice skates. But yeah, she looks good, doesn't she? So that's that one. So let me show you now one of the most valuable dolls that I've got. So... In 1978 in America, they was they start they, they they were selling Cindy's over there. Cindy's were that popular that they were selling them over in America, and America decided to release a or Pedigree did they released a darker skinned girl for the American market, and they called her Cindy's friend Gail. And that was in 1978. So how old would I have been? I would have been 12 by then. So that's probably why I didn't really know much about her. I think probably age 12 was the age where I'd stopped playing with dolls. So I wouldn't have known about. I think I stopped when I went to senior school. So 
11, 12, the first year of senior school, I stopped playing with dolls. I don't think I wanted to stop playing with them. I just think that it was what you did once you went to senior school. You weren't sort of... I, I still kept my original Cindy doll, but yeah, you just it just wasn't... You would have been thought as very childish if you continued to play with dolls, which is sad, really, because I, I still liked my dolls, really. So, yeah, she that's when she came out. So I knew nothing about her until I started doing my vintage Cindy doll collecting. And then obviously I found out about her and she's probably the rarest and the most expensive doll you will buy second hand. So I managed to eventually got this one for a reasonable price. I probably had her for about 15 years, something like that, if not longer. And I got her at a bit of a cheaper price. I mean, I wouldn't have paid like hundreds for her. I certainly didn't have the money at that time. I imagine I probably paid about, I don't know, 50 pounds for her, something like that, maybe a bit more, which back then for me was quite a lot for a Cindy doll. So the reason I managed to get her cheaper is that she hasn't got her original hair, but someone's rerouted her, but whoever's rerouted her, done it beautifully. Her original hair was obviously black, I have got her original dress that she was sold in. I've got her original dress and shoes that she was sold in, but she's not wearing it. I might actually put her back in that. Yeah, I think she's in this because she was part of the Vintage Cindy swimming pool setup I did in the summer. I think I will. It's, um, it, it's a lovely dress. It's a red floral dress. And she came in the original dress that she would have been sold in. So she's wearing a she's wearing a the 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 doll my original Cindy doll, the Funtime doll, was sold in this outfit. So she's wearing that outfit. It needs a wash. I think where it she's been packed away. Just gone a bit. It needs needs a wash. But that's the original outfit. Yeah. And the original outfit, I have got the original mules. But they're on another doll they came with those but they're on another doll at the minute which i will show you in a moment so she is also a ballerina cindy because she's got the same articulation as the other dolls so though she's got her original dress i don't know whether that would have been her original dress because if she was the ballerina one she would have come in a ballerina outfit so i'm not sure about that but she did come in one of the original dresses that they were sold in. But I think because she's got the articulation, I think she would have come dressed as a ballerina. Maybe I need to dress her as a ballerina. I could do that as well, couldn't I? I would love a better conditioned Cindy Gale doll because this Gale doll is very loose. Everything's loose. She's, she's, she's very loose. Her head's loose. She's just very loose. All her joints are loose. I could put some elastic bands in there that would tighten them up so she's in good condition you know she's got the articulation of a ballerina so from that point of view that makes her rarer i might put her in a ballerina outfit actually so let's see about her legs so that leg is completely broken which again would have made her and this one clicks twice right so her ankles both work which is amazing yeah i think i'm going to put her in a ballerina outfit I think that's what she deserves to go in. Looks like I'm going to be doing a bit of dressing up with my dolls this afternoon, doesn't it? So, yeah, as I say, whoever rerouted her, rerouted her lovely. It's like a sort of blonde, blonde brown sort of highlight look. It's lovely. I've done nothing to it. I've left it. Love her hair. So her face looks really good. Cindy Gale always has this very pale pink lipstick on. I mean, she's a beautiful doll. I would like another gale, a better condition gale, but they go for 500 pounds, sometimes more than that now. Yeah, but I would like another gale, I would. But yeah, so her articulation's good. I mean, she's so pretty, isn't she? And she's got the Cindy face, exactly the same face, love her. Yeah, love her. So that's Cindy's friend Gale. Running out of room where to put these dolls now. So let's go to this girl. So 
Obviously I had my original Cindy doll that my mum had kept in the loft for me. And then what happened was I married my second husband and we moved in together and the first birthday or I think maybe the second birthday that I had when we were living together, um, he decided to, I must have spoken to him about how much I loved vintage Cindy and how I'd had a Cindy and he picked up on it and he drove quite a long way to pick up, do a click and collect on eBay for a vintage Cindy house for me. And that started off my collection. So the first Cindy doll, vintage Cindy doll I bought, I didn't buy from eBay. I bought it from a site where a private seller was selling Cindy dolls. She wasn't on eBay. She had her own sort of shop. It's not there anymore. But I found this girl and she was very cheap. I paid about £10 for her because she was cheap and she was cheap for a reason. I mean, I didn't have a lot of money back then. You know, I had my three children and although I'd re remarried, you know, it's expensive, isn't it? It was an expensive time. So I didn't have a lot of money, so I could only afford to get a, well, a bad condition, Cindy, really. So I got her from this seller. And as you can see, she's had her hair cut. She's had all her hair cut off and I think I probably trimmed it and made it into more of a neat bob. But her hair was that short when she came. I just think I tidied it up. So yeah, her hair was not great. And her hair is quite frizzy. It's, it's, it's not fantastic. I've done what I can with it. And I actually like her because she was the first vintage Cindy doll I bought. So I've got her in a vintage Cindy outfit, but her, oh, she's just got this dressing gown on. She hasn't got anything underneath. I think it's because I've had her in the vintage Cindy bed. So I won't flash her at you. And this is a Fairy Glen dressing gown. Now Fairy Glen, they made cheaper clothes for Cindy dolls than the pedigree clothes. They were cheaper and they made a lot of them and they're just as old and I think probably just as valuable really as the original pedigree clothes. So she's very swingy as well. So her leg broken completely and the other leg does click and hold twice. She hasn't got, she's not a ballerina, so she hasn't got feet that bend, but her feet are actually in good condition. There's no chews, they're good. Her hands have also got no chews. Yeah, I mean, I am fond of her because she is, I mean, she's swingy at the waist, you can see. She's swingy, her legs are swingy and her waist is a bit loose. But yeah, she's, you know, I could afford to buy her and, and she's sort of sentimental to me because she's the first vintage Cindy doll that I bought. She was the first doll when I started collecting. So for that reason, she means something to me, yeah. So that's her. And then I've got two dolls left. So in 1986, they also bought out a new friend for Cindy and she was called Marie. And I don't know why, because she wasn't from my era at all. I love Marie. I've got two Maries, or have I got three? Definitely got two. And I don't know why, I just love her. I mean, you can see her similarities to some of the newer dolls, can't you? So she would have come out about the same time, maybe later than that. You can see the similarities, can't you? So obviously she's got a different face to Cindy because she wasn't Cindy, she was Cindy's friend Marie. Now this Marie's hair is in fantastic condition. I would have washed it, but I wouldn't have done anything else with it. It is soft, it's glossy, it's well rooted, it's good quality hair. She's lovely. Cause so because she she was a later doll, a much later doll, as I say, 1986. Her hair was much, much better than the original vintage Cindy dolls. I love her. I don't I don't know what it is about her, but I love her. She's got lilac eyeshadow on, no rooted eyelashes. She's even got red eyebrows, look white teeth. I just love her. Now her original outfit I think was a blue striped matching skirt and 
jacket. I have got the skirt. I need to get the jacket to go with it so I can put her in her original outfit. So she's also wearing a Cindy Funtime swimming costume that my childhood doll would have come in, but she hasn't got the skirt, but she has got the orange mules that came with that outfit. I'll tell you what she's got on her toes. She's actually got toenails. Whereas the vintage Cindy's haven't. She's actually got toenails. Yeah, so she's in perfect condition. There's nothing wrong with her whatsoever. Both her legs click and hold twice. She's, I mean, obviously she's quite pale because she's a red-haired girl. But she's beautiful. Her makeup's beautiful. There's nothing wrong with her whatsoever. I love her. I would like to get, as I say, I have got the original skirt. I would like to get the original jacket that went with it and then I could put them both on her. But she's dressed in a swimming costume because she was obviously part of my vintage Cindy swimming pool set up as well. Love her. That's Marie. So the last doll I'm going to show you is another bubble cut doll. This is a blonde bubble cut doll and she is her knees bend and hold twice on that one and on that one they hold once they do go twice but it clicks out so she's also in really good condition she's a bubble cut doll and the bubble cut dolls are more common in blonde i'm lucky enough to have a brown haired one so she's got a vintage fairy glen nurse's outfit on that is complete yeah yeah, it's the I'm, I'm yeah, it is the Fairy Glen one, it isn't the Cindy one. Yeah. Looks good on her, doesn't it? So the outfit would be a lot older than what she is. The outfit would be 1970s. But it's a Fairy Glen nurse's nurse's outfit. It's lovely, isn't it? It's really nice. It suits her, doesn't it? So the shoes she's got on are from the Creatable World shoes. The Creatable World dolls shoes fit Cindy really well and she's just got some blue vans on there. I thought they looked quite good with her nurse's outfit. She's also in really good condition. I've got a few blonde bubble cut dolls. They're quite easy to get hold of and they're quite reasonable on eBay. But the original outfit it's lovely, isn't it? It's really nice. And you can see how old it is. A lot of these clothes I got in bundles of Cindy clothes. They'd be a mixture of Cindy clothes. And then they'd also have Fairy Glen clothes in there as well. Because children would have a, a mixture of Fairy Glen clothes and the pedigree Cindy clothes. They all come out at the same time, so... I would have loved some Fairy Glen clothes for my Cindy. But I mean, I was happy with the Cindy that I had. I mean, what I really wanted, I can remember I really wanted, my friends had um, the bed, the bed and the wardrobe my friend had. So that's what I really wanted. But yeah, I was very jealous of her having that. I couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. Yeah. Funny, isn't it what you remember well say i was jealous i mean i was happy that she had it but i mean i i, I would have loved loved that yeah i would have loved it but i had my cindy didn't i so that's cindy doll number 10 and there's another 10 cindy dolls for you so i hope you all enjoyed that and i'll see you all again soon bye